last stand mode. It's the game's pretty old. I forget what year it came out. It's probably at least five plus years old. But it's a very fun game. Mind you, it's RTS kind of game. But they had a cool last stand mode that was a lot of fun. It's a co-op thing with three people. It's one of my favorite co-op things I've played. I played it a ton because you can uh, level up to level 20 and then prestige three times. That's what this means. And oh, I did it for all of these. <laughs> a lot of fun. The only reason I didn't with this guy is because I kind of stopped playing right before they released him. So, I played again like a few months ago. Got him up one thing and I'll play with them a bit today. I'll probably hop around between a few characters for the fun of it. But it's a lot of fun. You can customize like weapons. They each have perks like here grants uh, faster health regen. Shows you everything here. Like if you strip everything off. You usually start with a couple of things. Like, you'll have base stuff, but you'll start with a few things, one in each slot. Some you unlock just by leveling. Others you have to do specific objectives, like at the bottom there. Some are really tough to do. But you can combo a lot of stuff, have a lot of cool combos that work really well and whatnot. So, a lot of fun. And there's these. These kind of don't matter. If you're going for the high score, you want to get these captured and keep them captured. Now him we're going to have to protect because he will not have a strong melee and he'll quickly get overwhelmed. So they're going to come from three corners this time. I do remember that. So not this one. Oh wait, no, I heard it. I think the one they don't come from is going to be the one where the next, the boss spawns on the next, or not the boss, but like two things from now. See like there, he's getting overwhelmed. Plus with the melees, like if you saw it said so there's like a 6% chance he does a special mail which is what that is and it's an AOE. Plus if you get here before they get out you can actually be there when they spawn in which is another cool strategy plus you have your back to a corner. I believe they spawn on all four corners this yeah. If I'm right, the boss, every four ways there's like a boss. If I'm right, he'll spawn here and I can shred him. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble because one of the important things here is having movement. I think every class has some kind of like teleport or jetpack thing which is important later because it's okay he didn't spawn here because uh mobility is important you can be tanky but sometimes you'll get swarmed and you have to escape from your teammates so he'll spawn at this one i think they should be able to handle it Let's see what they do oh maybe not He's kind of doing that. I use my E ability, which makes his armor weaker too. Yeah, I can shred their armor already. 
that comes with the scythe anyway, so it doesn't. It's not like I can get something else in that place. And you can control where you go in cover too. Green cover is best, yellow is partial, and then. I think you. I don't know if it reduces their accuracy, you take less damage. Like I said, you can eventually learn the patterns of where everything spawns. Again, I haven't played in a long time, so I don't really remember. Trying to capture that. Ow. See, these guys, I gotta get this thing before. Because it'll suppress me and then I'll move slow. Actually, I'm immune to suppression. So never mind. But still, it can be a problem. That's a fun gun to use, but you're very immobile with it. It's getting tougher, so I'm gonna try to stick near him. Just to cover him. Okay. I was gonna go for this guy. They're like the controllers. I'm trying to keep them off of him. You actually want to kill the bigger ones because when they die, it damages the weaker ones because they have a psychic hive link. Tough, because there's going to be a ton of the Eldar Banshees, if I remember right. Yep. See, the one thing problem with this loadout is I don't have an AoE attack, which will cause you a lot of trouble in groups like this. Thankfully, my melee kick, you can't trigger that manually. I might die here. Actually, let me try this. I have an ability that lets me freeze him. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Sometimes it glitches and won't attack. Well, that didn't help because it glitched out. I hate when it does that. See, I'm getting shredded because it glitched. See, then my ability kicked in, which gives me that instant health and shield, but I'm gonna die soon.
See, the problem is every time I use that, it glitches. So he's not attacking. So they're going to come back and kill me. See, part of the problem is, too, is when you would attack a squad, it'll attack everyone in the squad first, even if they're not right next to each other. Which I think was the problem there. Sometimes it glitches like that. It gets real annoying. Almost got me killed, but thankfully I got my ability back fast enough. There's gonna be no melee. I think it's space range. Yeah, they're all range. I want to kill them first because they got the plasma guns. Those are shred armor. a glitch here where you could get in here. You'd basically have a uh, great cover. Problem was you couldn't really move. This one will be a problem because there's going to be a lot of jumpers. I'm trying to take care of the big guys first. This should slow them down if they don't move. See, the problem he gets glitchy when I do that. They're weaker, but they attack faster and do a lot of damage. Revive him, what are you doing? See, that's the only problem. He gets real glitchy when I use that. And it's definitely going to get me killed. I'm not dying for sure. There we go. Get him. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, sometimes it gets annoying like that. Because it's. I mean, you can't zoom in. There you go. See, like, if I had the reanimation armor there, it wouldn't have done me any good if I was the last one to stand. Because that's the only trade off of it. It relies on your teammates surviving longer. This one I think is gonna be Eldar with heavy with the race or whatever they're called. Yep. If you wanted to, you can actually kinda hide behind stuff. See, I'm going to need to go for these because these are going to be a problem. They're going to get suppressed by those things. What 
do you know? See, sometimes it gets cluttered up with all the enemies. It's not letting me attack. There. I, it's not letting me attack because there's so much going on. See, that's the only problem with melee guys is I'm telling him to attack guys and he gets stuck in an attack thing where he's like, oh, I, 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 and then you don't attack and die. That's one really annoying thing about that. I hate that. It's kind of like Nazi zombies from Call of Duty or zombies now. They're not really Nazi zombies anymore, but it tends to be the same maps, but it's still a lot of fun to play. Maybe not too much, but at a time. See, with this one, I can do this. Ah. Problem is, it costs more energy, so I gotta be careful. Shazam! It does attack a little bit slower, too. That says he can summon a little drone buddy. might spawn here. I, like I said, it's been a while. I don't quite remember the patterns. But it is a predictable pattern once you know the first one or two spawns. Okay, he will spawn here. Because he spawns a little bit later than them. Well, hello there. They can heal him, so I'd like kill them first if they can. See, they keep healing themselves. That does stun them too if they survive, which is nice. Here I don't really need his help, I can handle them. He could clear them and help keep them off of him. I guess he's sticking in the cover corner. It's like he the Tau have no melee ability at all. Maybe that's why he's sticking near me in case they came at him. We'll have to stick together a bit. One way to fix that too is if I hit the A button and click, it'll actually have him attack whoever's closest. So that might have helped with the pathing issue before. Yeah. 
See, now I can get suppressed by these, so I want to destroy that first. So I don't get slowed down. You can kill them fast, but they throw up a shield, so if you don't do it fast enough, okay, we got them before they use them. The shield's pretty strong. There's like an accuracy rating on stuff too. His gun's like 75% accurate, I think. So that's why sometimes it misses easily. This might be a problem. Crud. I gotta destroy that, otherwise it'll slow me down. See, I should have been in the corner where they were, because this would have killed most of them in one go. They survived, though. It's really good. That's another good reason to figure out the patterns of spawns. If I could have figured out where the large group of Banshees was, I could have wiped most of them out with that. and it would have saved us all the trouble. I don't know what he means by GRP, is he saying to group up? I mean, it is getting tougher, that is a smart idea. cover in this. It actually we you can actually like hide from enemies. That's what I it's pretty cool. See here with this ability, if they all hop on me, I can wreck most of them with my uh, ability. His health is not coming back fast. I think the bell's base health regen is two per health per second, and the base energy is one per second. Right, we need to get rid of those.
See, I'm suppressed, but if I get behind cover, I can get rid of that. For now, at least. See, for some reason it glitches me up too. That's the only problem with that. So it's not good if I have a melee guy because it messes my guy up too. What are you doing? See, sometimes it gets glitchy. Like That's the only problem is it can get glitchy when you're telling me to attack. So. shoot rockets but they do a lot of damage even if you're armored so you want to wipe them out quick These ones are tough because of the Raptors. They will wreck you. So you want to kill them fast because they can dig under the ground, essentially teleport, and they would do a lot of damage. Feel like they're shredding him right now. Kill them so they don't wreck us. Hey, he's got him. So the next one's gonna be real hard. You can predict where they're gonna spawn if you figure out the patterns. I forgot what they were. But you wanna take them out fast, because they're gonna be, you're fighting yourself. 
And uh, like on this map, if you have resurrection abilities, so will your doppelganger. And that will cause you problems. I don't, it might be this corner. If it is, I need to get there because I can stun him. I can even throw this to slow him down. My craft is dead. Problem is, he can use that ability too if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna spam that to stun him. See, now we gotta kill him within 30 seconds or he's gonna get his thing back. Okay, we got this. Not too bad. All right, the next thing is going to be pretty tough. Normally, the Nemesis one, unless you prepare properly, could be a lot harder. Again, if you kill the bigger ones first, it'll actually damage the smaller ones. You don't want to focus on the small ones. Unless you have an AoE thing. He needs a run, and he did. Yeah, the one with the jetpack has a responsibility to get the heck out of here, in this case. If he doesn't run, we're dead. We're dead. Right, he didn't have the energy, but... It's like there, I had the reanimation thing, but it didn't matter, because that was the last one down. If he had stayed away and tried to stay alive and I went down, I would have been able to get back up and we would have been fine. If you like my stuff here, go like, comment, follow, subscribe, you know, whatever platform you're on, you know how it works. Stream uh, almost daily, but Wednesday on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. You're probably watching on one of those. Upload videos daily to YouTube and Facebook and put the links on Twitter, Pinterest, and Reddit. My brain's not working. Uh, it's Virtual Crusader, one word on all those platforms. Virtual Crusader 777 on Reddit. So check those out. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. GG. God bless and see you later.